Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video we are going to be unboxing, unpackaging. As you can see, it's already kind of coming up there because I took a little peek here. <laughs> but again, guys, it's in there. This is going to be the sling neck strap for your DSLR camera. Now, this is universal for a very heavy DSLR camera. You could even do it with a point and shoot. But let's go ahead and take a look and then I'll show you some examples of my DSLR hooked up to it showing you exactly what it is. You guys have, might have heard of this already, but it's called the sling strap, pretty much, because instead of lifting up your whole camera along your strap, along your neck, it just literally slings across your body. So without further ado, sorry, I had a peek. I was so excited. Let's go ahead and get rid of that packaging here. But this is it right here, guys. And like all my videos, links are in the description box if you want to purchase it for yourself. So let's go ahead and take a look at this, guys, right here. now. Some companies make different colors, so I'll link some different colors below as well. This one is your typical black, so let's go ahead and take a look real quick. Okay, guys, that's it right there. And you think, man, that's kind of simple, you know, but this thing is actually really cool. So this right here is what would screw into the bottom of your DSLR or even your point and shoot. I'll try to put both my point and shoot and my DSLR on this to show you kind of the difference. But again, that is your little tightening up area right there. And then you got your kind of your hinge hook here. Very nice, guys. I mean, we're talking, I mean, we're talking aluminum, metal, whatever that is, you know. It kind of has a tightening hinge here where that loosens up. And that would open up kind of like a little mini carabiner. And then tighten up like this, like that, to secure it into place. So that doesn't latch out like that. Okay, guys, and then again, you have your sling blade here, so I have to adjust it, but that'll kind of give you the picture of what's going on here. Again, it's very, uh, it's for packaging, they put it pretty tight. So we have a called the quick strap, and I'm not sure exactly, I forgot what uh, maker this is, but there are some different ones out there, guys, so I'll link those again. So right here, we have a nice little padded area here for our memory cards. You can put your memory card right there. Maybe, I doubt it, maybe an extra battery. I'm not really sure if that's big enough to hold that or not. But, again, your strap comes right through here and nicely padded, guys. Look at that. Very nicely padded. And I kind of dug that little zipper area. You could even have some, you know, uh, cash if you're traveling abroad. You could even have whatever, your gold wedding ring, you know, if you don't want people to see, you know, um, your rings out and about. If you're in a country that is a little bit more... Uh, well, a little bit more. You guys know what I'm talking about. So, anyway. So, anyway, guys, let's take a look at it here. Let's hook it up to the DSLR, and let's see what it looks like here. So, let me grab my DSLR first. So, guys, here's my 60D DSLR camera, and again, it came with the EOS 60D strap. Alrighty, guys. So, this, again, guys, would go on the bottom of your camera right here. It would screw into your tripod mount here. Again, this is the Canon 60D with a huge lens on there. So this is very heavy. So we're looking at the 55 to 250 millimeter lens right there. So again, guys, very heavy. So this thing holds weight, man. So let's go ahead and just screw that on in there right there. And I'm pretty sure it would just latch on like that sideways, I'm pretty sure. This is my first time doing it right here with you guys. So again, that tightens up just like that. And check this out, guys. You can even unlatch this and it still has a mount down here where you could put it right onto your tripod. That is cool. With again, the outer ring is the release and screw on. So let's go ahead and put this around myself and I'll show you the differences between the two. All right guys, so here is, again is the stock strap. Now normally straps are exactly like this. There's no difference. So when you wanna take a picture, you gotta bring the whole camera up, take a picture like this, Okay, there's your strap. If it's around you like this, and you're walking through a marketplace, a foreign country, wherever, mountains, then you're like, oh, I want to take a picture. Okay, and then you got to go, Ugh. and then, I'm over-exaggerating a little bit there, but not really, <laughs> and then you take your picture like this, guys, okay? So that, again, is option number one. Now, let's look at the sling blade here, sling blade, sling strap, and check that out. And again, guys, for packaging, they really tighten it up, so it's kind of wound up really tight there. But here, we have some quick-release tabs here. You have two of them, and that, of course, extends, so you can really get that nice, long 
and then it just kind of folds back in again and another one right here a little quick release tab here which goes up and then extends etc sorry I'm trying to do this on camera and then snaps like that so let me show you what that looks like all right guys I'm about 5'9 and this thing actually releases just a little bit more but again I mean it's really hanging down there low I mean it's literally you know, let's see if I can get on my tiptoes. It's hanging down my, my, my butt down here. So I think I put it down a little bit too low. But again, guys, it's right here. You got your sling here. And sorry, my uh, shoulder strap adjusts there. So let's put that back up here like this. So that's how it's supposed to look right there. And so that puts a little less pressure there. Again, guys, we have our little holder right over here with our memory cards, etc. And so it looks like this around the back here. Hope you guys can see that. Yeah. All right. So we have our little adjustable thing here and here. And this thing can actually adjust here, you know, I guess if you want a sling stopper, I guess, where it would stop so it wouldn't sling up anymore. So that goes up and down like that. Let's just put that out of the way, though. So this is the really cool thing. So let's say you see, let, let's say you're on an African safari and you see a gazelle just running and you're like, oh my gosh. Before, you would have to go, you know, you, you saw me. So now, we grab it, and let me get this here so you can see it, and up it goes. Bam. And then, let's see, let me get that on camera. And then again, guys, it slings, see? Let me get that. There we go, guys, right there. Sling. So again, it goes up, and it goes down. So it's laying right here, again. I'm 5'9", and it's way down here, and you can still adjust it more, so even for tall guys. And then, guys, you just pull it up, boom. So, again, guys, this is absolutely amazing. I'm going to bring this on my adventures coming up. Bring it back down. Bring it up. Bring it back down. How cool is that, guys? I mean, really secure. It's latched on there beautifully. Now, the only issue I just looked at was, well... When, when it's on your shoulder, you're not really going to set it down. You can just have it just chilling here like this. And I guess you could always just set it on the back, you know, or, but it's just, it's not really a flat surface. It's not really a flat surface here. So you would just have to be careful setting it down on a table during a meal or something like that, or just put it back in your camera bag. But let's try to get a look at what it looks like set down. So that's not bad at all, guys. Unless I'm putting pressure on the lens, I don't think so. But you might want to be careful about that if you feel like you're putting a little bit of pressure on the lens. It doesn't seem like it, but again, guys, the weight of the camera is leaning here. And the majority of it is back here on this side right here. So that should be fine, but that's just one thing to look out for. And guys, I wanted to show you here before the video ends that this on the bottom where you screw it into the DSLR or a point and shoot, that is kind of a pad there. It's kind of a hard rubberish, rubberized pad, but that will prevent scratching on the bottom of your DSLR for resale value or if you're just picky like myself. Now again, that is on the opposite side. This is where it would go up on the bottom. Now let's take a look at what the point and shoot. This is a Canon S110. Let's go ahead and look at what a Canon point and shoot or a point and shoot in general looks like with this guy here. Let's tighten that on up. Okay. Again, guys, same maneuvering. And I got my little hand strap, my wrist strap over here. Okay, guys, so this is, again, the Canon S10, S110 point and shoot. Same exact thing, guys. Kind of hangs over the ledge, obviously, because it's a little bit smaller, a lot smaller. So let's go ahead and give it a sling. All right, guys, and what's cool is if you put it on and you're, like, looking at your camera and it's looking at you and you're like, oh, man, what the heck? I got to readjust my sling strap. I got to put it on the other way. No, no worries, guys, because you have your rotating carabiner. Bam, look at that, guys. Rotating carabiner that goes around in circles. Yay! How cool is that, guys? So, again... Point and shoot, you're down here, you're like, whoa, hey, shabam, 
Shabam! Point and shoots don't do that. I'm sorry, guys. That's the coolest thing ever. Just wanted to show you with the point and shoot as well and the DSLR so you can do both. Even GoPro, guys. You can be like, GoPro! Alright, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, different colors, sling, neck strap will be linked in the description box below. As well, I will link some description links for the Canon 60D as well. But guys, I'm really stoked on it. I'm really excited. And I hope you guys enjoy it. If you buy it, comment below. Let me know that you bought it. Let me know you love it. And we'll go from there. Thanks, guys. Please subscribe. I got a lot more updates, unboxings, all sorts of good stuff. Check out the channel. You guys have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.